Okay, YouTube, I'm just going to do this uh, real quick video on how to get um, that setting from the 3GS phone. You know how you could edit your video? Well, I'm going to show you how to get um, your phone to do that and then uh, by downloading three applications, two of which you probably already have, but um, it's going to be Sidequarter, SBS Settings, and Video Toggle. Um, that way you could, um, your videos will go straight to your camera roll and you can actually sync it when you plug in your computer, you know how you get the little window pop out? Um, you can actually sync it without having to like, um, SSH into your your phone or anything like that. Okay, first thing you need to do is you're going to download SBS settings. All you have to do is do a search for SBS settings. I'll have all the information on the side for you guys. Um, SBS settings is of course this. And then you're going to get side quarter. Um, most of you should probably already know how to get side quarter. Uh, you're going to have to go to go more, go to more packages, sources, and then uh, you're going to add a source called SOS iPhone. Once you add that source, um, go ahead and go to search. I'm doing this fast because I, I don't have that many subscribers or or views, so. I'm limited at the amount of time I could use for my phone for videos. So then right here when you do a search, you're going to do a search for video edit. And then it'll, it'll pop out. It's going to say video edit toggle. I know my quality for the camera is bad. Go ahead and add that and then go to your home screen. Once you go to your home screen, bring down your little uh, SBS toggle and then you'll have an icon right there um, it's called video edit um, you turn it on and then oh man I should have done a video oh well it works trust me um, I had done a video earlier but I should have done one then, right now it's going to turn on and off your phone once it's on let me just show you. You go to photos, and your videos are going to be in your camera roll. As you can see right here, like this video that I had done earlier for you guys. It's going to be... See that it will go to your camera roll. And when you go to your camera roll, you can edit it there. And then, um, and another good thing is this little screen will pop up uh, here on the top. You know how and then here, you could, like, trim your video by just moving this yellow bar when it turns yellow and then you click the little trim button on the top and you can trim it down and, and that's it that's how you trim your videos and get them to this now when you upload them all you have to do is click and connect your phone um, and then of course you'll get your little pop out like right there that one well on that one go ahead and click import your your pictures and videos, whatever. And then um I'm gonna name it let me move this so you can see. I'm gonna name it uh video. Okay. And then you're gonna click import and then I'm gonna click erase after they've imported. As you can see the little pop up came out. And then there are the video. You get your video and um no and there you go this is the video see that it will go to your camera roll and when you go to your camera you can roll see? you can edit it there and that's it one thing that I do have to tell you is that your your camera will be locked when you have a video toggle on. It'll be locked. You'll have the shutter and it won't open up. Um, all you have to do is go ahead and go back to SPS settings, turn off video toggle, um, turn it off. Um, you turn off your phone. and then you turn it back on and it, it, it works. 
this is a good um, application for you guys who don't like SSHing into your um, your phone or you have to use a secondary application. All you want to do is just import your pictures and your videos at once so you don't have to look at which video to import or whatever. Um, and uh, I know that the, the camera thing not working is a hassle, but this is a better uh, application, so the producer or the creator of the application could probably um, make it better sometime in the future, because um, you do have to work with limited um, access to the phone. And then let me just show you how by doing that it will work. I'll have all the information on the side. And I had heard of some people saying that this doesn't work for them. But um, if it doesn't work, I'll just go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll do another video on how to SSH this application into your, your phone. And that is a for sure thing that it will work. Or you could um, um, just send me a m private message or whatever and I'll I'll give you the details. In case if I don't have time to do a video, I know With school and everything it's, it gets pretty hectic. And I'm just waiting for my phone to turn back on. Mm. Well then. It'll work. Um, I'm just reading my phone. It's I need to go get it sent out, or I need to go buy the other one, right? Um, but it will work, and um, just try it out. It's pretty cool. Like uh, this already took forever, and well, then good luck, guys. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.